Boys and girls, put your hands together for the one and the only Hollywood star, Natasha Monti! Oh, I'm sure. Oh. Sitting here for a good reason. Sorry. That's why the oh, girls are further that. away today. So are sorry. you calling me a girl? Never, <laughs> never, <laughs> not at all. But anyhow, welcome back down to Malaysia. You're obviously here for the film, which there's a beautiful poster of you that right there. Can you just tell me who are you playing in that? Bri Bri Brina? Brina. 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 Is she um, good or bad? She's a good girl. I I play um, a very strong character. She uh, she is a killer of men and fights men in war wow. and stands her own I ground. Like wow. <laughs> I heard this is like the most expensive Malaysian movie made ever. Ever, ever. Yeah, it is. Uh, they have the government behind them and they wow. have a lot of supporters. And uh, I've seen some of the CGI and I'm very impressed. I mean, wow. it's Hollywood quality. Look at that. Look at that poster. You look absolutely stunning yeah. in the picture. Yeah. And in real life, I might have to Even add more. as well. Yeah. It's photoshopped. Nah. Okay. Just look, Michelle. <laughs> you can't photoshop right right in real life like Ryan Gosling or something. But anyhow, <laughs> uh, what do you know about football of interest? Do you know any footballers out there? Um, I met Cristiano. Wow. 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 Did you? How is he in real life? I must be jealous. Uh, he's... Uh, Sleazy? Very. See? I... Very. No, just kidding. Is he good looking um, in person? No. Yeah, he's pretty good looking, actually. He's pretty. Oh. Isn't his hair a bit greasy? I don't think it's <laughs> greasy. Why are you jealous, Adam? No, are saying. you trying to compete with Ronaldo? I heard you know Mr. David Beckham as well. Yeah. I don't know him. I've just. Sat, I got to sit. I went to Lakers game, mm -hmm. and he was right here. Wow. Oh. And I can help but. Oh, of course. <laughs> of course, you know, in that situation, I'd probably do the same thing. But never mind, moving on swiftly. You've lived in a lot of places as well, haven't you? I mean, just try to list out a few for me. Uh, I've lived in London, mm -hmm. Norway, wow. Hong Kong, uh, Singapore, uh, Thailand, wow. Los Angeles, LA, of course, Canada. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, you're New York York and... though. You're half Malaysian, right? Or... Yeah, I'm half Malaysian. I I am. My mom is from Sabah, Borneo. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Sabah oh. girls. Arr. And you're half Norwegian, which explains why yeah. you're in Norway as well. Which is, yeah, it's it's so strange because we have a Norwegian movie. Like it's a Viking movie, mm -hmm. and it's shot in Malaysia. And I'm a Viking and a Malaysian. So, I always felt like this movie was my fate, and perhaps it was fate. Me. Written in the stars. Yeah, yeah I mean, to bring me back in to the Malaysia. movie, you're not Malaysian, right? It's just a. It's, it's just, just a, a character. Oh, I'm yeah. kind of. I'm supposed to be like a Viking girl, but um, I'm. I am. Wow. Only half Ooh. Viking. You are fit, man. You, you are really rich. Wow. Check out yeah. those abs. If that was me, it'd be like. Doot. <laughs> 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 so who's a guy on, That's on the Dominic right? That's Dominic Purcell of Prison Break, if I'm correct. Yeah. Prison. Nice job. Yeah, he's. Uh, he's. Intense. He's, he's nice. He's very serious. He's half Australian. Uh, he is Australian, right? Yeah, he's Australian. He's he was the most serious guy out of all of us. That was shot on Mount Kinabalu. Uh, I'm sure they were like. I that think to it was Kinabalu. like Ipo. Um, Ipo. Yeah. Ah. So. Ipo. Um, jo John Fu from Tekken. Yeah. Was in the movie. Craig. Fairbrass. Fairbrass from London, yeah. from EastEnders. Yes. Wow. Uh, he was very funny. I loved working with him. He made me laugh. All we the English time. people are. Like, <laughs> Excellent. Yes, Scottish. Sorry. I mean, is it is it hard working in a Viking sort of theme based film? I mean, you guys have to do a lot of a lot of leather yeah. type clothing. You know, yeah. The my Stop costume. Uh, you know, the costume was very annoying at the end of the day because. It's, it's very high, yeah, and and they really want to boost everything up. And your abs, that she, she's talking your, about her abs. Your arms, yeah, yeah. yeah. Her her arms. What did you have to do to prepare for this role, though? Like, <laughs> what sort of workouts did you have Look to do? Look at the abs. It's impossible yeah. to get without working out. That's saying hang, by the way. <laughs> oh, you know, you know, you know, I. I'm bad. I like. I don't work out that much. Really? I don't believe really really you. I don't believe really really you. You're blessed with good genes. Oh, hot yoga. You I'm know, not. Oh, yoga. yoga. That's the for you. Yeah, I love for hot Russian. yoga. But yeah. how, did, how did you get into the acting game in the first yeah, place? What yeah. drove you to it to the point where, like, yeah, this is something I could do for life? You know, I had very strange ideas about acting when I was young. For example, I was a ballerina. And then um, the pressure to be too thin was very strong. So 
I, I thought to myself, you know, it's a nightmare eating a yogurt a day, smoking cigarettes and drinking coffee to mm. remain like stick figure thin. So I decided, well, what other way can I, what can I do now, you know, that doesn't require that, but that where I could perform. And I went to London and I got a scholarship to go to a musical theater school. Yeah. And so I did musical theater and I danced and blah, blah, blah. And then I went to visit my mom in Canada and a director discovered me and he gave me a part and he said, you should be doing this because you're in the right field. Like, you're absolutely you're going natural, to... You're a natural actress like that. Well, I, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't like to talk about <laughs> myself like that. But, um, but yeah, that's how it started. And I remember thinking to myself, because I didn't know how Hollywood worked at all. I was very naive, very green. And I thought, oh... I'll just do one movie and earn five million dollars and then I'll quit. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just gonna do. keep coming after that. <laughs> yeah, I just thought, yeah, one movie is five million. Yeah, oh yeah, they get five million. <laughs> so that's what I'll do. I don't want any more money than five million. Yeah. And look so, at you now. No, but the thing <laughs> is, like, they don't earn five million yeah. on their first little movie. And I worked with Katie Holmes, and I wow. remember asking the producers, well, how much is she getting for the lead of this movie? And they were like, $150,000. I was like, what? Mm -hmm. Where's the five million dollars? <laughs> what? You I have to do this for a dream. really long time? Katie Holmes, though. That's really cool because you also did one of my favorite TV shows, Fringe, with Joshua Jackson, and they were both on Dawson's Creek. Yeah. Everything comes back to Dawson's Creek. Mm. Everything. Why Adam so smitten? I'm always smitten by Dawson's Creek. What's Why? wrong with that? James Vanderbeek. But anyhow. Oh, he married a girl that I know in, in uh, There you go. There you go. Los Angeles. Oh.